As the daughter of two immigrants from two different continents, I spent a lot of my life contemplating my own national identity. When I was in elementary school, the other kids made fun of the food I brought to lunch. I don't have enough fingers to count the times someone has asked me, no, but where are you really from? What does it mean to be American when so many people don't see you as such? When I was little, my grandma loved to watch old Western movies in the home living room. The ones with John Wayne and Roy Rogers. How she understood anything they were saying without subtitles, I will never know. I marveled at the landscapes of the American West. The delicate arches, the expansive plains, the towering mountains. It's no surprise I went on to study geology when I got older. After I graduated college, around the time I started working in a national park, I took my first real road trip through the US. But this time, when I saw the arches, mountains, and plains, I not only saw the physical beauty of the country in which I was born, but I felt the power of everything my parents had worked for. The author Jacob Nordby once wrote, from where I sit, holding an American passport is like carrying orders that read, I am an American. I have a responsibility to use the mind-boggling freedom and riches in ways that will honor the creator potential in all humans. I have been given opportunities to live my life in peace and safety with all of the resources I need to craft a magnificent life. It is my job to prove myself worthy of this and to treat the rest of the world with humility, respect, and honor as they also seek to gain the freedoms which come so easily to me. I have a sacred duty to live in joy and spread the possibility of this wealth for the benefit of everyone, everywhere. The American dream is beautiful when it wakes us from our sleep and reminds us that we are living, breathing participants in the greatest social experiment ever. <laughs>